Howdy! It's Liz with another Flow Style Junk Journal here. Uh, this one is a cover that is from the Graphic 45 Portrait of Lady collection. And I make the covers out of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So it measures 6 inches wide by 9 inches tall. And there's a fold over for a 3 inch pocket. And that's held together with uh, washi tape. The Flow Style Junk Journals are designed to be taken apart and used in your own crafts, junk journals, whatever. They are held together with three strands of fibers. The brown one is a hand-dyed, hand-spun wool. The orange is a cotton pearl. And the other one is a variegated, uh, slubby, synthetic one. Okay. If you open it up, attached to the front pocket, there is a playing card with a fourth uh, fiber and it's a um, breast cancer playing card so it's pink on the back and inside this pocket we have the first of a series of cards that are cut out in different sizes and all have this pattern on the back which coordinates it's very nice uh, this is a doily that my husband cut out in green this is one of the Portrait of the Lady cards, and all of these have um, a tone-on-tone -tone pattern on the back of some sort, um, and a, generally a brighter one or darker one, different at least on the front. This is a page from a book on the history of lace called The Many Faces of Lace. It has wonderful illustrations and pictures in it with lace. This is from a vintage children's book, which I know from experience doesn't fold well. So I have cut it apart and it has wonderful aging on the pages. This is a book from the Y section. This is a single-sided scrapbook paper. A lot of these are the heavier weight papers. They're almost card. Um, this also is the cutout cards with the wonderful print on the back. And this is from a children's book called Over the Hills, and it has wonderful illustrations in it. It's a little person riding a butterfly. This may be from the Tom Thumb story. You can see the small character. This is the back side of the cover for this one. And the next page is a piece of music from Gilbert and Sullivan. I like to use Gilbert and Sullivan because they use lots of notes. It's very busy. This is a page from a vintage receipt book I got in my travels earlier this year. And where possible, I have used pages that fold over so that uh, after we get through the center of this book, you'll see the other half of these pages. There are two other receipts in the back. This is a piece of gridded paper. This is a sort of compendium of knowledge book from about the 1920s. And these are from the biography section. There are two pages there. This is from a book called Victoria that has wonderful little pictures in it. Double-sided piece of scrapbook paper with um, a couple of stamped images attached to it. This is from a book um, in Polish, and if you ever want to make uh, your words really fade into the background, I recommend foreign languages. They look great. This is a Spanish book and this is one of the cover pages one of the early pages and it has this wonderful graphic on it and the age on this paper is fabulous. This is an inventory sheet from a t uh, tire store. Another uh, set of stamped images and portrait of a lady card. Double-sided scrapbook paper. This is from a hymnal. When my parents' church was getting rid of their old hymnals. I scooped up a few. It's a book in French of illustrators and um, designers. And I put a doily on it and used my alcohol spray on it. This is the side that got the spray. And this is where it came through on the back side. So you can decide which half you like. There's a book on birds. This is a copy of a very old ledger that I got from a men's clothing store. It's dated 1915 and these are the things that were ordered and how much was paid for them. 
This is a reproduction of a Sears Roebuck catalog from about 1905, and even though it's a reproduction, these sort of newsprint pages have gotten a lot of wonderful age and coloring so that it looks like the, an original. Uh, this is a stamp of a pocket watch, which I just love. Double-sided piece of scrapbook paper behind it. And another piece of double-sided scrapbook paper. Again, this is the heavier card. I like to use this to paper clip things too in my flow journals so that the papers don't get pulled out of shape. This is a page from a book called Leaves of Gold which is from the um, Eastern Star Organization and this is a 70's um, train timetable from Europe which again on the newsprint pages has colored up nicely book from the 1890s called St. Elmo and in the center we have two different envelopes here this one has a bunch of little tags in it including one tiny little one that's escaped me um, here it is these are on um, manila file folders on the back and I've decoupaged different pages to them some little starter tags to get you going these are stamped images that coordinate with the Portrait of a Lady collection. There's another one there. These are actual um, paperweight papers, scrapbook papers that go with the collection. Uh, not from the collection itself. These just coordinated nicely. So I put them in. A few more of the cards with the print on the back. And these are actual Portrait of a Lady cards as well in green and brown with the tone on tone on the back. And the other envelope has a bunch of three inch fabric squares, which this little tag just wants to escape. Um, I have laid out in the envelope, so I'm not going to take them out because if I do, they don't always go back in nicely and they tend to get wrinkled. There are 13 coordinating 3x3 three three inch scraps of fabric in here. And then these are the back sides mostly of the pages that you have already seen. Train schedule. Uh, this is an envelope of mix of vintage buttons and new ones. And love this peach button right here. This one may be Mother of Pearl as well, the little shiny one. And these are cutouts of um, vintage thread spool ends. And these were some scans that we got that I thought would make lovely tuck spots or embellished paper clips. There are six different ones there. These are all hiding in this envelope. And I have paper clipped the envelope to one of the pages, but um, I do also ship all of my junk journals in uh, plastic bags so that if any of the buttons escape, look for them in the plastic bag. Again, the Sears catalog and birds, hymnal, book in Spanish, book in Polish. Another stamped image. This is the back of the Victoria page. Wonderful little pictures. And biography pages. And the receipts. And at the back pocket, there is another card with a fifth fiber on it. And more of the printed and cut cards. This is another one from the Portrait of a Lady collection. Single-sided card. This is um, a print by Ramsey. Wonderful. I love incorporating artwork. And on the back is a Rayburn. This is a very early depiction of somebody ice skating. And this is from a wonderful book I have on electric works. And it's about train brakes. And it has wonderful illustrations. I just love those. And then we have a bridge uh, scoring pad right here. Another single-sided piece of the cardstock. 
and this is a stamped image which looks like I've done a terrible job on it but it is designed so that some of the words fade into the background and some of them are more pronounced and these are um, wild plants the names of wild plants another piece of the card and at the back is a page that I have from a book that uh, instructions on making shaker style furniture this is a pipe box shows you how to make dovetails here and on the back is a small wall cupboard these are wonderful illustrations very simple in their design all right this is going to go up on Etsy uh, I hope that it will help embellish your junk journals or other craft projects thank you so much for looking have a great day.